Now we're going to have a look at the second part of how to update other tables. In the first video, we went through the PHP that was involved to update tables behind the scenes once something got saved. Now we're going to look at the buttons that need to be on the invoice screen before and after something has been saved. So we're going to add this JavaScript. Now I'll run through how it works. Um, the first part of it is basically an if statement just to see if this is an edit form. If it's not, we don't need to do anything. But if it is, then the second question is, has the invoice been posted? And if it has, then we can add a print button. We can remove the save button and we can remove the delete button. If it hasn't been posted, then on top of the normal buttons that are there, we can add a post button. So I've created a function called post invoice, which simply does add a one to the value of posted and it lets New Builder know that that value's been changed. Once that's been done, then we save the record. So to see how this works, we'll go in to our posted object and make it read only so we can see the changes happen before us. Okay, so we go back into an invoice. Now you'll see that there's a posted button with nothing in it. Once we click post, we'll see all those other buttons changed. So that's set to post. You can still clone it and now we can print it too because it's been posted.